It's a pleasure to have you here and to visit with you a little bit as you get ready for graduation coming up this yes. spring, I'm guessing, right? Yes, that's correct. Four years gone by pretty quick for you? Yeah, well, three and a half, really, because oh. I came in January, actually, so I started in the spring, but it's hard to believe. I don't think it's really hit me that I'm starting to graduate. Like, yeah. tennis has only just started, so to me it feels like any other season, really. Sure, yeah. I, you know, that's what I've heard a lot of people say. It'll be a little different, though, I think, at the end of the yes, year. <laughs> when you hit that spot, how are you going to handle it? Um, I'm not too sure. I think Seniors Day may be a moment to remember, to, like the moment that I've actually made it to the end. Um, but probably graduation when I walk across that stage and know sure. this is actually over. But, yeah. yeah. Being from Australia, Claire, will you have family here for graduation? Will they come? Yes, my whole family will come over for they graduation. They will? How many so people is that? Uh, just my parents and my sister. So okay. that would be pretty special, though. They've never actually been over to see me play tennis or see uh, Jules, so it should yeah. be a good moment. Well, tell us about them, if you would, please. Yep. So my dad is a risk and compliance officer for an insurance okay. company. My mom works in high school administration. Yeah. Both played tennis, so it was no real surprise that I took up tennis. I um, also have a younger sister, Danielle, who's two years younger than me. She's actually at university in Australia, studying paramedicine, and doesn't play tennis, but she plays competitive water polo and is a swimmer. Ooh, so wow. also very athletic. So and also gave me my drive of being competitive because we used to always compete against each other. I was going to say sports. it sounds like a real competitive family. Oh yes, very athletic, very competitive. Love the outdoors. So. Have you been able to get home during your three and a half years here? Or? Yeah. Yeah, well, is it hard to come and go? Um, it's actually really nice. I've gone home during the summer and winter break, so especially at Christmas, it's so cold here in the snow. Mm -hmm. To be able to fly home, be in the sun, be by the beach for Christmas, see my family has been very special and worked out really well. Yeah. Well, we have uh, we have some clips and some things we saw you play in 2015. That was your freshman year. That was a long time ago. Yeah, that was actually my first match, or second match oh, with Jules. So, yeah, to have it filmed was wow. <laughs> pretty special, actually. Wow, yeah. <laughs> and uh, how have... Uh, Talk about your prog progression in tennis. Uh, have you found yourself growing uh, here in the States? Yeah, definitely. So when I came in as a freshman, like tennis is a very individual sport in Australia. So that was what drove me to come to the U.S., to be in that team environment, to have a team and coaches and players around me. So coming as a freshman, I guess I was a little naive as to what it really meant. So to be able to come in and play, make the lineup, and then move up the lineup throughout my years and just develop my game, because like everyone's a good tennis player in the college level. So everyone can hit a ball, but over my time I've learned how how to develop my game and make it to be the best and most effective to get me those wins. And then to now be in a captain's role for the last two sure. years has also been very rewarding. To, so to be a part of a team and then be able to lead the team and be seen by my peers and coaches as someone who's deserving of that is something I take a lot of pride in. Right. Well, what's the strongest part of your game? What, what, what would you feel like? You, what's your go-to area? Um, being a lefty, my forehand is probably my biggest shot. Um, that's something from a very young age we developed and wanted to utilize because there's not many left-handers on this um, in tennis. So right. to be able to hit that cross-court forehand and just attack from there. But then also my mental game. I've also always been. My coach has always emphasized to play smart and play strong and not show show weakness and just stay tough to the very end. Right. Okay. Okay. How about the difference between uh, what you grew up playing in Australia and the t tennis played here in the States? Uh, although I'm sure you play f a lot of uh, foreign competition, even at the yeah. college level here. I think probably the biggest difference was the court surface. So in Australia, we actually play on synthetic grass, not hard court. Like, there's a few hard courts, but synthetic grass. Like what we call our plastic turf, kind of like what we have on our football yeah, field, that kind of kinda thing? Yeah, kind of like the football field, but there's also sand on it. So it uh, kind of plays like a clay court and grass court. It's, it's a very unusual surface. Mm -hmm. It's very big in Australia, but unusual for people here. Um, um, so that was different. Also, we don't have indoor courts in Australia because our climate is so nice to us. Like, rain's probably the only thing we really have to deal with, maybe a little bit of wind, but it doesn't get cold enough. So sure. to, become, to come in and play on the indoor courts where there's no weather and you just know what conditions you're going to play in, was it's very nice, something yeah. I really enjoy. You tell me that after you're done with Jewel, you want to be an accountant. <laughs> but do you have any kind of accountancy in mind, any specialty? Um, I really liked auditing. I've also had some experience in business consulting. So either one of those areas areas, but I hope to get my chartered accounting degree, so my professional year in accounting, and just move my way up in a firm and just see where it can take me. Yeah. Well, looking through your accomplishments at Jewel, I think you've been our newcomer of the year and the hardest worker of the year. How do you want your career to end when this tennis season is over? Um, I think probably the biggest thing is I want to be looked at as someone who was hardworking and made a difference and was just determined. I really want my teammates, especially being captain, to look up to me and know that 
I was I can be held accountable for our team goals and that I really tried to make a difference, spoke up for them and didn't leave anything to chance that I can look back on my season and be like I gave it everything I got and as a team that we can look at each other at the end of this season and go we gave it everything we got and there's nothing we left to chance. Well said, well said. Thank you Claire. Thank Appreciate you. you being here. Best of luck uh, not only this season but the rest of your Thank life. You and uh, You're going back to Australia right? Yes I'll go back uh, to Australia. We'll, we'll miss you. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be back with more tennis in a moment.